Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of April 2019. Thank you for joining us today. In the news, the French government signs protocol to tackle the drug trafficking from French Guyana. Suriname joins International Diamond Certification Scheme. Power company EBS renews outdated electricity generating system. And the MPs ask attention for the gov from the government for the agricultural sector. On Wednesday, March the 27th, 2019, the government, government officials in France signed a protocol for the implementation of an interministerial action plan. This has to do with the fight against drug trafficking from French Guyana. This announcement was already made in September last year by the Minister of Justice, Nicole Bel Beloubet, and her colleague from Overseas Affairs, Anik Gerardin. According to the French authorities, drug dealers still take too much advantage of the so-called drug mules. This action plan should ensure a better effort for all working arms of the French government engaged in the fight against co cocaine trafficking, both in France and also in French Guyana. There are specific areas that the focus will be on. And these are strengthening the border control with Suriname, in which customs in St. Laurent de Maruni will expand, and the quality of the screening controls at the airports of Cayenne and also in Paris will also be increased. This should result in a better flow of information between the two customs surfaces at both airports. <laughs> Since March 7, 2019, Suriname joined the Kimberley Process Certificate Scheme of the World Diamond Council. This accession allows Suriname to comply with the applicable conditions to mine and ship certified diamonds. The Kimberley Process Certification Scheme is an internationally recognized certification system that countries must adhere to if they want to trade rough diamonds to on the international market. States that have joined this certification scheme must commit to the minimum requirements. There must be transparency in mining and the diamonds should be traded between recognized partners that are also certified. A diamond is the hardest mineral ever found on earth and it consists of carbon which crystallizes under very high pressure and temperatures. The creation of the diamond takes place at a depth of 150 to 200, 200 kilometers, after which it finds its way to the Earth's surface through volcanic, volcanic eruptions. Despite modern techniques, it is still difficult to get diamonds, which only 20% of the mineral is suitable to process jewelry. The value of diamonds is determined on the basis of four factors, namely the shape, the color, clarity, and the carat weight. The power company EBS will renew its outdated electricity generator generation system. This will happen at with the support of 17 million US dollars from the Kuwait Fund from Arabic Economic Development. Minister of Natural Resources, the Regilio Dodson, is convinced that this plan of the EBS will be implemented very soon. The renewal of the electricity network involves the replacement of the electricity generation, the transmission, and the distribution of the energy systems. The project has been mapped out for a number of years and will soon start with the first, and the company will soon start with the first phase. And at the start of the budget debate in Parliament, the agricultural sector was pointed out to the government. The airfares would be killing for the export of our agricultural products. The MP Rashid Duki spoke about a situation that puts our exporters in a less favorable competitive position. And also Jennifer Freitsam also asked for more support for the agricultural sector. A number of specific facilities should, according to her, be more accessible for our producers. That is all we have for the local news for today. Have a wonderful and pleasant day. Bye-bye.